we are going to the worst fucking Krizoa spirit shrine in the game. Welcome back to Star Fox Adventures, episode 21. I'm glad you have a good lead-in line for every single episode, because that one probably took the cake. I stayed up all night thinking of that one, but uh, why is it bullshit? Why is this particular shrine so stupid? Hmm. Well, we're, we're gonna get to that. Right now, let's just focus on getting to the Krizoa spirit in question. I thought you were gonna say like you walk in the door and immediately die. I was I was wondering what uh, type of bullshit you were talking about. No no no, we're not talking thousand and one spikes bullshit. Oh okay. No no no, this is a different kind of bullshit. So yeah, rocket boost to get up here to this ledge. You know, no nothing hard so far. Kind of easy really. And, <laughs> and then this room. Got a switch here. I can hear a door opening. Which means that we got a limited amount of time to make it all the way across to the other side of the room. Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Ah! All right. <laughs> and he still followed you through. Okay. That was kind of bullshit, but that wasn't even the half of it. Not, not even an eighth of it. Room two. Here we go. Oh. Hi. I thought I would <laughs> need to... I thought just stepping on it would be enough, but I gotta actually stand on it and depress it. I was just thinking, you you walk into the room, you accidentally, you know, press a little bit of the button, and then you fall straight into the water and gouge your eye out or something like that. Ba, ba, ba. Oh. So now we gotta make it through here. What? Wouldn't it just be easier to... Like, why would you drain the water? So that way, you don't, you can't just swim over it, you can... You have to go through the maze and all that. And, uh... Yep! Oh, the door opened? Yeah. Okay, I, I didn't notice that, because technically you could have just swam through that. The door opens, the water drains. Okay, okay. Alright, last room. I can see the spirit all the way across over there. Oh, I thought that was a pit. <laughs> Lovely barrels again. Oh, yeah. Because you can't find any other hazard in this game. Going back to the DK roots. Alright, here we go. Third test. Fourth, actually, fourth spirit. Oh. No, wait. The thir I've lost count, whatever. Third test, the test of fear. We gotta face our deepest fears. Slippy dying. We gotta keep the line within the green area. And this is bullshit because that red line is drunk. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, you failed. Yep, yep, I failed. So guess what happens now? You suck. They warp us back to the beginning. Oh, good. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> Yep. Oh, fantastic! It is. Now hurry up and get back there. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Wow. That's... that's terrible. That is terrible. That is really god-awful. Why would they do something like this? I'm trying to think of what that's called. There's a specific term for, like, trying to keep a... L like trying to keep a line in the middle as it's forcing its way to either side. Uh, drunk, I don't know what. drunk line, whatever, drunk needle. Sure. All right, attempt number two. Here we go. We're going for drunk needle. Hit me with your test of fear bullshit again. Blah, 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 blah. Let's do it. He just sees the future of his franchise and the pointer just immediately goes to blue. It's just so bullshit that it takes an extra, like, five minutes for you to, you know, do this, you know? Uh, fuck! Uh, <laughs> Same place! <laughs> you gotta the watch those raptors, man! The needle never stays in one spot. I mean, if you try and push it a little bit, it's just gonna go all over the damn place. So it's like you have to react to when the needle starts to shift. Because when something happens, the needle goes to either side. So it's just... Just face your fears, man! Fight the power! Alright, well, let's see how many attempts it's gonna take me to do this. Alright, attempt number the third. 
Let's you don't got this. this. You don't got this. this. I, I, I got this, man. I swear no. I got this. You watch. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go through this whole thing flawlessly. Uh huh. Well, Here we go. Uh, gotta watch those raptors. Try. Uh. The idea is to not watch what's going on below the screen. Only well, watch that bar right there. I mean, That's it. Duh. It's gonna really try to distract you, though. And then Slippy's face! Ah! Oh man, I almost lost it there. <laughs> oh, fire, of course. Firefox! Eh. Damn it. Come on. So these are illusions, right? Like, they wouldn't accidentally run into you, right? I don't know why he's so scared. I mean, I have no problem taking on these guys before. General Scales! Again, not that terrifying. Why would Fox be terrified of him? All he did was, like, backhand him a couple episodes ago. And laugh at him as he disappeared. Well, I won, hey! <laughs> Alright, now I'm ready for my sweet reward of facing my fears and becoming more courageous as a person. I know! I remember the first two attempts. You are a scaredy baby. But I became brave, didn't I? Says you. Well, now we got the third stupid Krizoa spirit. And, ah, great. Oh, come Aren't on, you get, excited? Come on, get pepped up. It's the third Krizoa spirit. Yeah. Woo! So we're back in the Lightfoot Village, and we got to make our way back to Thorntail Hollow. For real this time. You know, I could make it a little more enjoyable and say, not only did you get the third Krozoa spirit, you're also one step closer to being at the end of the game. Yeah. And I love how I only have one little bit of health left. Well, I mean, that's the scariest part of this game, is running out of Buffalm Dads. Which hasn't happened yet. And probably never will happen. I hope not. I mean, that, that was pretty much... Uh, one of the bigger roadblocks in the game. Well, it just seems more annoying than anything else because of being constantly sent back. It's like they wanted exactly. to yeah. extend the playtime. They're going to run out a lot of ideas, and you're going to see that happen a lot lately. They start out strong, but then they just can't keep the momentum. I mean, they still throw a bunch of interesting ideas at you, but you'll find that they just don't last as long. Case in point with the third spellstone we're going to be getting here soon. So you could consider like their later ideas kind of like idea farts. They just don't last long. I wouldn't say idea farts, but it just it wasn't fleshed out as much. Oh, hey, Fox, I'm here again. That was scary back there, wasn't it? <laughs> Where were you when I needed you? Uh. Tricky is the way to solve all fears. Every fear. I could just see tricking you, give him a command saying, Give me a good dream! Eh, huh? Tricky the sleep aid. And he puts some Valeria in your drink. <laughs> Tricky, I want a good time tonight. Starts, okay! Starts starts burning sage. <laughs> Plays the, the uh, guitar, you know, s slowly and sultrily. Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Go to sleep, little fox! Not doing it! <laughs> That's the one thing Tricky won't do. I mean, becoming a, a dinosaur flamethrower, yeah, no, becoming a sleep aid, he'll do all that, just uh, he won't sing it asleep. So, are they gonna do anything in the shop? No, we don't. Okay. Nah. We've li we literally have everything in the shop we need for now. There's no reason to go back. Oh, I thought you were gonna say I went off screen and bought everything. Well, we already kind of did buy, buy everything. Well, oh, yeah. All that's left is just the uh, the uh, res resupplyables in the uh, in the first room, and that one big thing in the second room. But we need we need to go to this big guy because he's the one who takes us to Krazoa Palace. Are you ready to go to Krazoa Palace? Oh, Why? Well, ready as I'll ever be. Hello. Uh. Oh. 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 God. Ah. 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 
I'm still waiting for the one moment where they really run out of ideas and just have the stone spirit throw you. Oh, Krazoa's somewhere over there. I think I got you. Woo! I got a hole in one. <laughs> but luckily this time he sends us deeper inside the palace. Right in front of two guards. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mr. Warpstone guy. But luckily they won't be bothering us. Just anybody? No. All right. Well, never mind then. No, those guys are my friends. They won't hurt you. They gave me candy more than once. It is that Jamaican or Scottish? Scottish. That's what I thought. For some reason, it was turning Jamaican. The the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Fox's face just yells adventure. Well, I see a sharp claw thing down there. I think that's what we're going to go ahead for first. (coughs) Sorry. The thing is, how are we going to get down there? Hmm. This is not exactly the easiest place to navigate. Case in point. <laughs> oh, that must have hurt. Hey, 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 uh, did you see a weird fox guy come crashing down through here? What a loser. <laughs> so, okay, let's go to this uh, first thing up here. Adventure. It's all about the adventure. I don't think I've been saying that enough lately. And no, but look at the way he's positioning his arms. He's like, adventure. Yeah. Away. Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> right there, he was just fist bumping. He's like, oh, yeah, adventure. So, go through this door. And that takes us to another Krizua place to put our thing in. It seemed relatively pain-free, all things considered, because the last time we had to put a Krizua spirit in, we had to go in the dark for about an hour. But it just feels so good to relieve a spirit. So, all right, now we got three spirits going down now. Looking good. We're about halfway done with the game's main collectibles now. But but I would say I would say we're about fifty five percent done with the game now. Cool. Looking pretty good so far. Back at back at Thorntail Hollow, things are good, and uh, what do we do now? Well, Fox isn't going to mention what happened back there, so I will. How did that happen? Well, I guess it, it just goes to show you that. Uh, wait a minute, there was something weird about that dinosaur back there. She looks a little distraught. Just crying and screaming. Man, what is your fucking problem? I don't care. I just want to know because you're kind of pissing me off. Hey. Whatever it is, just get the fuck over it. All right, enough fun. What's your problem? My eggs. They're stealing my eggs. Like right now? Right now. Like right right the fuck now. Well, I mean... What's the size difference? Are you bigger than them? Just go uh, stop stealing my eggs and then plow them down. Yeah, I don't think I want to help you, but, you know, the game can't continue unless I do, so let's do it. For a minute 40, we gotta protect these eggs. From these things. Really? Really. Oh, you... Oh! Oh! Take them out, man! Luckily, you can attack them as they're bringing eggs back. Well, hurry up. They're getting away. We're going to... We got uh, two playthroughs of this game. We got the stupid idiot UDJ didn't know what the fuck he's doing playthrough. And then we got the pimp playthrough. Mm. A pimp named UDJ. Sure. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. If just one gets taken, game over. This reminds me of the... Uh, that christmas level in banjo kazooie i've never actually played the game but i have seen it played where you have to like protect the presents from the snakes or something like that there's so many games i want to play with you that you haven't played yet that you need to i mean yeah. ba- you haven't played banjo kazooie what the hell's wrong with you i had other rare games oh and there goes the egg failure uh oh well hmm
Let's try again. Disgraceful. Alright, so now we're gonna try a little something different. I'm gonna equip the ground quake in my hotkey in case things get a little too hairy. Oh, there we go, strategy! I uh, also kind of noticed you have to be dead on to hit them. Their hitbox is about as big as they are. Yeah, and Fox likes to swing slightly to the left of where he is, so it's not exactly accurate. So, yeah, we just got to go for this for another minute or so. I'm looking all right so far. Actually, I, I'm assuming that the reason Fox, you know, kind of arcs it to the left is, like, he finally realizes how many dinosaurs or helpless animals he has killed in his past adventures and is going for a pacifist run this time. But some unknown force known as the player is making him be a murderer. Well, I was going to say that he actually enjoys the killing, which is why he's throwing all of his weight into each swing. And missing. Yes. As such, he doesn't have a whole lot of great accuracy. Okay, things are getting hairy. Let's do this shit. And it doesn't work. Oh, wait. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Too many guys, and... Boom! Oh, it does work! Look at that, and you probably hard-boiled most of those eggs, but you know what? That's okay. Oh, they're fine. I'm the good guy. <laughs> I'm the hero! Man, there are a lot of things. Why would you put your nest by... <laughs> Seriously! By, th this is the worst place to put your eggs. It's it had like, a good price! It's like me deciding to raise a child by a lion's den. So what does she give us? Hmm. I believe inside there's something that you seek. Really? So for saving her eggs, we're going to go into her secret tunnel and... Uh, Isn't that where more of those monsters are? <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't you think that uh, this would be kind of... Actually, this is a staff upgrade. Oh, okay. But again, you'd, I think we just hollowed out their entire home, so there used <laughs> to be a whole bunch of things down here, but... <laughs> Not anymore! You destroyed nope. their entire race! Meat eaters will eat for a while, that's for sure. <laughs> so what does this give us? Hot. The portal device! Uh-oh. No! It does not create orange and blue holes. It makes purple and blue. It opens certain doors. Hmm, to other dimensions. But what certain doors could they be? I mean... I can't just open a portal any old where. Pretty much what this is is just it's just a magic key now to open really specific doors. Uh, okay. Doors that you may have seen in this playthrough. In fact, there's one here in Thorntail Hollow we can open right now. So basically what you're saying is it's plot advancement. Exactly. That's terrible. This unlocks the third leg of the game. So the only way to move on with the game is to get something through a superfluous minigame only at this specific point in the game. That's pretty much what's going to be happening for the rest of the game from now on. So you're being railroaded. Yep. We are on a rail. Awesome. What's up, Queenie? It's so nice to see you both. But I have some bad news. Son... Your father has been taken prisoner. <laughs> Darn it. I was trying to think of some lime, line to come out of a soap opera, and I couldn't think of one fast enough. Your father has been taken prisoner in the Walled City. The Walled City, by the way, is a floating island outside of Dinosaur Planet. So, when did he get captured? Because it probably happened a long time ago before they split up. Dad's a gatekeeper? No, that's all we need. I can't even look at you anymore! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this when I was uh, here before? Why? I don't even know who I am. Everything I've known is a lie. I'm having identity crisis, Mom. Maybe you might have some idea. Gee, I wonder if opening that door has to, has to do with that portal device that we got earlier from earlier on in the earlier. 
Um, hmm. well, I, 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 I guess maybe I, I could try it, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think I have anything here I can use. Will it work? Will it, of course it's going to work. I know, I can use Tricky's ball! I mean, um. I got it! I could use Tricky's ball! I got it! Alright, that didn't work. Um. Who am I? Hmm. I'm gonna need a minute to think of this, and uh, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Star Fox Adventure. I, I, I could shoot at it! Why I am work. I here? I don't, mm, 